Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the XML activities under the programming section. So for this walkthrough, we'll create a sample XML file. To do that, we'll right click on project and under new, we'll click on folder. So a new folder would be created. Again, right click on the folder and under new, click on file. So we'll name this file as uh, test.xml. Now in a notepad here, I have a sample XML, which I'll copy, open this and paste it here. So here uh, it has different properties. So in two, we have the two named two from uh, Jenny, heading reminder, body, don't forget me this week. All right. So we'll click on save and close this. So we'll read this XML file using the read text file activity. Now, as for the input file name, we will select this uh, down arrow and click on Genie File Explorer, expand this folder and select this test.xml uh, which we created. Click on select. So the whole uh, content of the XML file will be stored as a string format which will be assigned to a uh, variable called var string. Now we need to convert this string uh, to an XML document data type. In order to do that, we have an activity called uh, XML deserialize. So here we would have to give the XML string, which is the output from the previous activity, var string. Uh, we will have to use it as input here, var string and it will convert it to uh, an XML document and assign it to this variable var XML document. All right. So next we'll drag and drop an assign activity. And we have the whole thing uh, stored as a, a XML document, var XML document. Now, if we are trying to get the uh, body of this particular XML, then uh, we will have to give an expression for that, which I'll show you. Before that, we'll create a variable into var XML. Now I'll show you the expression to get the body of this XML. That would be var XML document dot element. And then in parenthesis, in double quotes, note, because this whole thing is in note. And then dot element body dot value. So, so the first thing would be dot element note, then dot element body dot value. All right. So click on save and we'll drag uh, and drop a message box and we'll see what var xml looks like click on save var and run the sequence so it has returned don't forget me this weekend that since that is the body over here we gone okay now let's just try it for the heading as well so we can just replace this body with heading Click on save. So it should return reminder. So I'll just quickly explain what it did. It first read the uh, file, uh, the XML file uh, in the string format and it is assigned to var string, which we then converted to an XML document using the XML uh, deserialize activity. So uh, the uh, output will be stored in this variable var XML document. And then we are trying to get uh, each value of uh, what is required like first we type body now we'll see heading so here is heading click on save and let's run the sequence here it is return uh, return uh, reminder since that is the heading of this xml now let's click on okay okay so here um, in this XML file, we are able to access the value of these properties like to, from, and heading and body, but we, ca we can't change it. So in order to change and map those uh, variables to this particular properties, we have another activity called uh, XML creator. Now let's see how that works. So I'll just go ahead and close it and delete these activities. 
uh, I'll drag and drop the XML creator activity. Now, before we configure the options, uh, we'll click on variables and I'll create a new variable var to name and it's uh, any name we can give so i'm just giving it as john smith all right so now let's click on creator click on this uh, three dots over here and we'll paste the same thing this it here now as of now the two is two name is given to Okay, let's just uh, keep it as it is. Now let's click on next. Here we can see it has different properties. Now two value store, from value is Jenny, heading is reminder, and body is don't forget me this weekend. Now we can replace the store with the variable that we just created, var two name, which has the value John Smith. So which was initially top, uh, we'll change the value. John Smith. Now let's click on save and uh, now the next step is to uh, write this uh, convert this uh, XML document to a string type and finally we need to uh, write it into a text file. So right now this will return it into a XML document. Uh, in order to convert this XML document to a string type we have an activity called XML serialize so our output from this activity which is var document will be the input over here so var document and it will store it in a, a string format uh, and it will assign it to this variable var xml string which we will write it to a text file so we will give write text file now we will give a uh, we'll create a new text file over here and name it test xml we will get the path of this copy the path of this and paste it here make sure uh, we give double slash All right. Now we need to give the uh, string, which is var XML string. The output uh, from this XML series serial, uh, serialize will be the in, uh, input over here. So here we have created a sample XML, and it will be stored uh, as an XML document, which we will then convert it to string using the XML serialize. Then finally, we will write it to a text file. So let's see, uh, right, as of now, this is blank. There is nothing in this. Now let's see if it gets written. So click on save and run the sequence. Now it is finished. Now let's open the text, test XML. As you can see, it is uh, written in uh, the contents of the XML file in a string format. Uh, here we can uh, you can note that uh, see the name uh, initially when we created was uh, the two name was store which we replaced it with a variable John Smith so that's what has come here and we can uh, change the values of the properties if we use JSON creator and uh, the other uh, details since we haven't changed them it's the same so yeah that's all for this video thanks for watching.